Hi guys and welcome to the seventh type of wire netting using geometry nodes and blender. So let's get started. I'm using a blender version 3.3.1. Delete camera, delete light, delete collection. So go up to the plus button, general geometry nodes. Shift A to add the mesh. Plane is a good choice. Select a new to create a new geometry modifier. Concept. We are going to create a single line, create a sign shape and then apply it to this shape an equation that let us to have a contact between this shape and the shape mirrored having more complex detail shape so a shape like this with the contact with the, the mirrored part so let's jump in we have to create a curve line we can use a combine xyz to export in the group input the, the z axis of this node link the combine to the end shift alt and click to isolate the selection set one to the z to see the, the curve and go to group select z and rename in height from zero now we, we have to resample this curve and we can set this to an item number now you have to know that we will have more detail information in this curve so more detail equal to more counts in the resample curve and also increasing the height I want more counts in, on this line so I can just select the height and multiply this by a value that I can export so I can select this select the integer type and call detail from 1 link this with a multiply value of a standard value like for example this and link to the count now I can set the detail to 1 to see the curve and this is the single curve line so I can select all these nodes ctrl J F2 single curve save the project now next press 3 to write orthographic view I want to set the position of this these points to create a sign equation I can get the group input node I can get the spline parameter to use the factor we want to use in our sign function we need a frequency float value float rec from zero and we also want an amplitude of the sign so we can start to have the factor multiply by the frequency but the frequency here is in radians so I need to multiply this frequency by pi multiply by 2 to have one period in one value of the factor so one height calculate the sine mathematical function multiply this by an amplitude that can I export to the group input and rename it in amplitude from zero and use it with a combine XYZ in the Y axis so the green axis and link it to the offset now we have no frequency if I have one frequency I have one entire period in this height I can collapse some of these nodes to better see the result and now the most tricky part of this uh, tutorial save the project this is demos is uh, a site where you can add uh, whatever mathematical function you want to show you can find it uh, on internet I will leave uh, the link in the description and you see this is the equation we need so it is based by the single sign mathematical function plus a similar sign function with a multiplier that depends on our detail parameter we have in blender so the detail is the detail parameter here and C is a a number that is calculated depending on uh, this detail value because we want to have from this number one two three four five detail I want this as an input and in the output in this function I want three seven 11 15 and so on so you can see from this to this there is 4 from this to this 4 and so on so to get this from these we have to calculate this parameter as the detail minus 1 plus the detail multiplied by 3 and these let us to have with this parameter always 
a value from 1 to minus 1 you can see the in this graph the value 1 and minus 1 if I increase the detail I have a more detailed shape but maintaining the maximum and the minimum value I want these uh, uneven values of C because I want to have a shape that uh, when mirrored needs to touch the original part in the maximum point of the shape so if I increase the detail I have more complex shape but maintaining the maximum and minimum points to be touched by the mirrored part so I will add this entire equation in Blender and I will rename the group of the A, B and C section in the geometry nodes workflow so we can select all these nodes Ctrl G to create a group we have to rename the input values so go to group select this this is the factor from 0 to 1 this is the frequency from 0 this is the amplitude from 0 and I also want the detail so detail is an integer number from 1 so 1 tap to exit from the node select the detail move down and link the detail to this node group and call it in complex sign increase the width and this is our nodes so for more speed I will add the entire workflow in this node okay this is the workflow we have the B section the C section and the A section and the entire part of the workflow tap to exit from the node I will leave in this workflow the entire equation in this section of geometry nodes now you can select all these nodes ctrl J F2 make sign shape now we have to instance this shape along our horizontal line so we can create a curve line we can resample it we can use a combine XYZ as always the group input and link these to the end we have the Y axis so we can export the Y move up and rename it in width from 0 now we have to resemble these by a length so what value do we need to offset this curve we know these we have these the amplitude this is the amplitude we will have a mesh here we will have a radius of our wire there will be the other radius of the wire and another entire amplitude value an amplitude here a radius here so two times the amplitude plus two times the radius we can select the amplitude multiply by two and we can add a new parameter go down rename it in radius from zero so move up multiply the radius by 2 add to themselves and use it for the length now as always we have to snap the width by what by this new number and link this to the y axis to have a more frequency representation here now we can hide the annotation and now we can instance on point on our curve the curve created before and link this to the output with the shift and alt now you can see anything because we have no width and we can increase the radius so three for example and we can decrease the amplitude to get more shape now we have to rotate each two lines by 180 degrees so we can get the index link the index of single horizontal point to the module node and each two lines we want to multiply these by 180 degrees convert it in radians to use these in a combine XYZ and exactly to the Z axis because we want to rotate these and voila to better see the result I increase a little bit the radius so 0 0.005 for example and this is our pattern so I can select all these nodes ctrl J F2 instances on horizontal line 
and now we can create a curve to mesh with a circle curve we can link this here and this here and we can use the group input attribute of radius here for the radius we can set a material simple material we can select all these nodes ctrl j f2 curve profile and we can add a uv map so curve profile and uv map for example to create a uv map I remember you that we need a capture attribute for the original line and for the profile curve so I need a spline parameter to save to cache the factor attribute for each point on these curves and then I will use a combine XYZ to link this capture as an X value of the UV map and the Y values of the UV map and export it to the group output rename it it in UV and remember to go to output attributes and set a name you want to use in a shading editor otherwise the shading editor will not be able to read this information so we have a little problem here but I will show in a, a moment now now if I create a new metal material or metallic roughness lower 0.05 and select this to the metal go to shading view now I can get the attribute named UV and I can separate this to show you that if I press shift ctrl and click I see black value and uh, another time Y value black why this because in the geometry nodes if I press shift ctrl and and click you can see here I have instances I have no curve no control point so this information cannot be saved in the points of this curve because there is no curve and there are instances okay so before this node I need to realize the curve shift ctrl click to have control points and now the information is saved if I go to shading now I have shift ctrl click to the X I have a value from 0 to 1 here and I have 0 to 1 for the section of each spline and I can use these to make a little effect so for example I can use the X axis to have a color ramp values and use these for the base color so I can uh, select these and make a metal from red to blue for example and now in the layout I can turn on the material preview and play with the frequency you want the amplitude you want and you can easily use the detail to get a more complex shape always with the touching point here and this is the final result of this tutorial so thank you guys for watching this video I hope you like it I hope you learned something from it and uh, I remember you that you can can leave a comment or check a like if you want if you like what I am doing in this uh, tutorial you can subscribe to my channel and if you have subscribed make sure to check the bell icon to get notification of all new posted videos you can always download the project of this tutorial from my Gamrod page or wait to download the entire bundle of the entire series of this tutorial see you next time to the final type of wire netting bye